The buns are done. The buns are this morning I just gave our little finners a bath and he's so excited because now after bath he knows it means brush time and you guys he loves 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 to be brushed look at him he's just sitting here patiently looking at the brush you love it huh okay yeah show him how you come in my lap look at him he's just curled up yep okay let's show him how we love it on our back we love our belly you guys I don't know another dog that loves to be brushed look at this he loves it so much. I know I've mentioned brushing him before and a lot of you say you've never heard of brushing a dog, but with his fur type, if we don't want him to get buzzed when he goes to the groomer, we have to brush it out. And especially I've noticed since being here in Florida with kind of the wet humidity, I feel like it gets more matted if we don't brush it often. So I use two brushes. This one gets the max out and he loves it too. Huh? You love this one. Look, I'll just sit here. We went on a morning walk today, which was fun. We got up around 6 a.m. We've been trying to go to bed earlier, as we mentioned. And so we get up earlier and kind of start our days more. So I feel like I can get a ton done in the morning before my work back in Utah even starts which is really nice. So feeling productive today. I worked out this morning, I took him on a walk. Now he's all clean. I wanna make a protein shake this morning, which I'm really excited about because I just ordered a new type of protein that I've been seeing and it sounds amazing. It's like a caramel toffee type. So I'm gonna make that for Jared and I this morning. My sister Michelle taught me a few little tricks with protein shakes out in New York, so I'm excited to try and make it here at home. Jared's just in, finishing up a video that's gonna go live for you guys. We're excited, we played a little fun game in yesterday's vlog, and had a surprise delivery from This Is How We Bingham, which was awesome. So if you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. It's going up here in a second. But you guys, for now, I'm gonna finish getting this little cutie groomed. Oh, look how cute he is, all from the back. Yes, you're so sweet. And we'll see you in a little bit. guys I am making us a protein shake this morning as I mentioned this is the protein powder that just came out. I'm so excited I had this at my sister's Michelle but this is a brand called clean simple eats and the flavor is caramel toffee and when Michelle made this it was so good it literally tasted kind of like a milkshake like so so good so I am putting some of that in, some spinach, a few oats just to give it some like body and texture. And I feel like that keeps me more full. A little bit of cinnamon, some banana, and then some chai seed and some flax seed, you know, cause you gotta be healthy. And then some ice and then some water. And you can use yogurt or milk in this. I'm just using water and ice today. You can also throw in some frozen fruit if you want. I may do that. I'm gonna kind of blend it up and see the consistency. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, throw all this in the blender, and I'll show you the final product. for the first time. I've not actually tasted it either. This is my first attempt at making it this way. I will say it smells really good. Cheers to help. This has a ton of spinach in it. So you guys can tell I didn't really measure. I kind of just throw things in 
kind of see how it works out and you know we just chug it down if it's not good and if it's good <laughs> it's good so here's to help <laughs> i'm nervous to try it wow that's really good that's really good oh my goodness is that not so mm -hmm. good wow babe all that's in there is water and ice we and got, banana we and got then some funky mustaches going on but like a ton a ton i mean you guys saw like almost an entire bag of spinach Wow, that is really good. It tastes like an oatmeal cookie. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're sure your day off good. Mm -hmm. How's the vlog coming? Is it ready to post? It's ready. Vlog is going up. <laughs> I'm gonna get into some work, and then you guys, I think we may be getting in the kitchen again later. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking cinnamon rolls tonight, so it's all about balance. We got <laughs> healthy cinnamon in our shake, <laughs> and then we got some delicious, fluffy cream cheese <laughs> goodness coming your way in some dough. It's literally this and this, <laughs> just balance yeah. it out. Yeah, health, balance. <laughs> That's what we're all about here. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna get to work, and we will see you guys in a little bit. Just finished up with work. That feels good to be done for the day. I got our little Finley here. You guys look how fluffy and clean he is. <laughs> what is it about fresh washed puppies that is just the cutest, huh? Yeah. I'm so, so <laughs> cute and fluffy and smells so much better. You guys, Finn stinks when he goes outside. I don't know about you guys and your dogs, but Finn goes on one little walk and it's just like, oh my gosh, I have to plug my nose. And speaking of that, yes, most of my smell is back. A couple of you guys have been wondering that. It came back about a week or so ago, but I feel like it's not what it was before. Like it kind of comes and goes. So. Unfortunately, I can smell Finn. That means I have to start brushing my teeth. Yeah, so Jared's gotta start brushing his teeth, showering regularly, you know, all the hygiene stuff again. <laughs> Just kidding. Speaking of Jared, you guys. Hey guys. We wanted to give you guys a little update on what we're thinking with his ankle yes. and foot. Yes, yes, so Ooh. it still hurts quite a bit. Pretty much whenever I put pressure on it, on my heel here, up to my Achilles is when I feel the most pain. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the type of brace that I have and the I'm also wearing underneath here. A compression sock, right? A compression right? sock, yep. And then inside of here, inside my shoes, I have these like heel cushions. Yeah. So I'll put a link for all this stuff in the description description just because so many of you asked me about it. However, the biggest thing you guys is we are gonna go get a second opinion yeah, yeah. on so it. We definitely wanna go get a second opinion. I'm thinking either tomorrow or the next day. But one of you, Pam, Pam Coleman out there wrote in our comment, there is actually an ortho clinic here in Fort Lauderdale that you can walk in and know referrals are needed. So Pam, thank you, like that is amazing. Yeah, seriously, thank you. I had no idea where to go, like neither one of us knew where to go. And so the fact that we can just go walk in there and get a professional opinion, that was our biggest thing about going to urgent care is that they're not specialized in like foot care. Yeah. It's just kind of like, a general care. Knowing that I can talk to someone that's specialized in orthopedics, that's perfect. Yeah, that's gonna give us much more peace of mind to know that what he's been told to do and what we're doing is actually the right thing, so mm -hmm. that way we don't, one, mess it up even more, <laughs> and hopefully that'll speed up the recovery thing if there's any other things we can be doing. Yeah, so that's basically the update. I'm doing a bunch of my exercises. I'm trying to do circles right here. I'm doing stretches I every now and then. I try to get up on my tippy toes with assistance of the crutches and get on my heels, same thing with the assistance of the crutches. Yeah. That's what I was instructed to do by the nurse practitioner, so I am trying to do those things. But yeah. the fact that it does still hurt does make me want to get a second thing. Well, and it, I mean, they said it's gonna hurt probably for a while, they couldn't give yeah. you a time frame, but yeah. just knowing that you've talked to someone that specializes in injuries like this, yeah. like will give us more peace of mind for yeah, sure. Yeah, totally, especially because I don't think it's the planter thing that she says, just because I can feel it so much in my Achilles. All the research that I have done, and even what she told me, that the pain for planters, like the lack of arch support. But she did think there was maybe a micro tear in your Achilles, yeah. but that yeah. combined with the planter fasciitis yeah. or whatever it was yeah. called, fasciitis, fasciitis, <laughs> fasci fashion <laughs> we, we just call it fash for short we actually have heard it pronounced like several times correctly but we it's can't a, remember it's a tricky word yeah. so you guys that is the update with jared 
If you have any other recommendations, drop them below. But you guys have been amazing, so thank yeah. you, thank you. And thank you again, Pam. That was so sweet of you to research that and look into that. So we're excited to get that second opinion. So you guys, for the rest of the night, I need to get started on cinnamon rolls, which I'm so excited Woo! to make. And I've never made them here in Florida, so I'm a little nervous to see what the dough does with the humidity. But you know what, we're gonna try our best, and I'm sure it'll turn out some degree, and if nothing else, you know, the taste of rolls and frosting, how bad can that be? So <laughs> we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get things ready, and we will see you in the kitchen. Roll up your sleeves and get in the kitchen and make some cinnamon rolls. I am. You guys, I'm so excited. I have not made cinnamon rolls in a while. I used to love making them. I've made bread since we moved here, but I have not made cinnamon rolls. And we were craving something sweet. And you guys voted for cinnamon rolls, so I'm super excited to make these. Now, as I mentioned, with the humidity, I cross my fingers they work out. <laughs> but you know, if they don't, that's okay too. So to start with, I'm gonna make my basic bread recipe that I love. I feel like it's so easy. For so long, I was pretty intimidated by making homemade bread. I don't know why. It's really simple, really easy. At least with this recipe, my mom's been making this for years. And I remember growing up, the smells and everything of homemade bread, like there's just nothing better. And then you top it with cinnamon rolls with the same dough and the smell of cinnamon and the cream cheese frosting. It's gonna be good. So first step you guys is I need to activate the yeast. So I am using just uh, instant yeast, so rapid rise. What I do is I need two tablespoons of this. So I put it in a separate bowl, don't ask me why. That's how my mom taught me. I always put it in a separate bowl to have it activate. And then to the yeast, you guys, I add about a half a tablespoon. Oh, I just got sugar over. <laughs> a half a tablespoon approximately of sugar. And that is supposed to help activate the yeast. So I'm gonna give that a quick little stir. And then to that, I'm gonna add a half cup of warm water. Now, it needs to be warm, because I'm sure you guys know, that if it's not warm, it does not activate it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, pour in that warm water. So this is what it looks like. So what it's gonna do is that yeast is just gonna start to bubble up and then I will add it to the rest of our dough. So I'm gonna just set this aside right here. All right, so for the dough itself, I need five cups of flour. I'm gonna need a half a cup of sugar. I need a half a tablespoon of salt and a fourth a cup of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together and then I will show you the yeast and what it looks like at that step. So I got our flour, our sugar, our oil, our salt, all in here. Now I need to add about one and a half cups of warm water as well as our yeast. And you guys look how this just bubbled up like that. It's like doubled in size, wow. which is awesome. That's crazy. Nice and activated. Yeah. Yeast is crazy. So foamy. I'm gonna add this right to here. And then I'm gonna add in our water. One and a half cups of water. Now, I may need to adjust it a little bit as I start mixing it. I'll see if it's on the dry or the wet side. And you kind of just have to play with it for the texture. I'll show you what it feels like. All right, you guys, so I got it all mixed together, just lightly combined. So you can tell it's kind of just stringy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for just a few minutes, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then we will start to knead the dough. All right, so I got the kitchen cleaned up. I left out the flour because you always need some flour depending on how sticky the dough is. But basically what I'm gonna do now you guys is just knead this for about three to five minutes, depending on texture. So I can already tell this is a little bit sticky. See how it's sticking to my hand? So I'm gonna grab some flour. I should have done this first, but put some flour on your hands. 
And then this is the fun part. <laughs> and I think this is the part that people get intimidated, but you guys, all you're doing is really just kneading this dough to combine everything, to give it some good texture and making sure it all gets fine. This actually is feeling pretty good. Do you see? It's not really sticking to my hands very much and it doesn't feel super dry. It's all about finding just like a good balance with it. And I feel like that's kind of the key to bread is just making sure you knead it enough, making sure it's not too dry or too wet. But with these ingredients, it's really hard to mess it up, I feel like. So I'm gonna go ahead, continue kneading this, and then I'll show you the next step from there. guys I think I almost have this one little tip I do when I need dough is I stand on my tippy toes <laughs> and that way when I press down on it there's more pressure so I feel like I can really like yeah that's put genius. my body weight into it <laughs> I notice I'm like this, yeah but that's why because I'm kind of just like pressing more into it and using the palm of my hand that so this feels genius. pretty good that looks good. Does that look good? Yeah, so, it looks really good. I mean, you guys, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not saying I know all the tips and things, but this works for me. So one little tip I will say is I hear if you press the middle and it springs back, okay. that pretty much means that the dough's ready and it's a good consistency. That was so, way cool how it sprung back like that. So it's from back. So <laughs> I think this is ready. So what I do is I just leave it in this bowl. I don't even worry about putting it in another bowl. There's already some flour down here, so I don't think it'll stick too much. But as you can tell, I feel like it's a good consistency. It's not sticking to my hands, but it doesn't feel dry when I touch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. So I'm gonna cover this with a clean dish towel and then put it in a warm spot. So. Depending on in your house where the warm spot is, you can turn on your oven, you can reheat it for a second and then turn it off. That's warm. Here in Florida, it's warm. Outside, <laughs> I don't put it out there, but I'm gonna let it go ahead and double in size. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half. And so once we're at that stage, we will check back in with you. So the dough has been rising, and now with magic. <laughs> oh, that's so big! That's so awesome. What in the world? Yep. Look what a little yeast will do to ya. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good. Why does it does? It does smell so good. So good. So at this point, you guys, like I said, you could literally make rolls, bread, whatever your heart desires. We are making cinnamon rolls. So it's so sad, once it rises like this, you have to punch it down again. I'm gonna go ahead and punch this back down again. You guys, and look at that, it's not sticking, it's awesome. So the next part, what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolled out on the counter. I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on my counter, my clean counter, mm -hmm. make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the dough rolled out and then we'll put on the cinnamon and the sugar and we'll be almost there. My dough all rolled out. It's almost a rectangle. It's a little rounded here, but that's fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got my butter spread, and then I just put a mixture of brown sugar and white sugar. Honestly, guys, I don't really measure. I just cover it. It all tastes good, <laughs> it all melts together. And then I put some cinnamon on here. As you can tell, it smells amazing. And now the fun part, the rolling. Start on the edge here, and you wanna make it so it's pretty tight, so it doesn't open up a ton. I kind of just curl it underneath itself, curl it down, 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 just like so. And then it's kind of just like a big roll. Think of like you're rolling up a rug or sleeping bag. Because of that flour, the, it's not sticking to the countertop. <gasps> you guys, 
This is looking good. Look at this, this is one big roll. Holy moly. <laughs> this is gonna be good. And then right here, I'm just gonna pinch the side up like this and kind of roll it. And then just kind of seal it and pinch it like this. So it's nice and tight. And then I have a buttered baking dish that I will show you. But first we gotta cut these. And Jared grabbed what we're gonna cut them with. What are we gonna cut them with, Jared? We're going to cut them with some floss. Some dental floss. <laughs> and you guys, you can tell this end's a little thinner than this end, that's totally fine. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're all gonna bake up and be delicious. That's the thing about baking. I love just having fun. It's just fun to create like this. So it doesn't need to be high pressure or intense. It's just fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some dental floss. And the reason you do this is so you do not smash them when you're cutting, but literally you just take it up. I do about two inches. You can do them the size you like though. And then you just pull and look at this. Perfect little cinnamon roll. That is like perfect, wow. So I have my buttered baking dish. I, you can use literally any dish you want. I'm just using like a cookie sheet. This is my new nonstick one I got from Target, so I'm excited to try it out. But then what I do, especially with the hillside, I just put it down like so. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these all cut up, put them on the pan, let them rise for another hour, pop them in the oven at 375 for about 15, 20 minutes, watch them, and then we will show you how to frost them. so good too seriously look at those oh my goodness so you can tell there's a two little ones I told you got a little skinnier <laughs> near the end but hey it's gonna take the exact same because look at these they are gonna be fluffy they're light they're they're so brown. big oh they're gonna be so good <laughs> I whipped up some cream cheese frosting now Jared informed me this is gonna be the longest vlog ever so I will tell you this recipe in another video but just google cream cheese frosting there's tons of recipes out there these have slightly cooled down but now you guys, I like to put them on when they're still a little warm so they just get ooey and gooey. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> come on. Are you kidding me? This is just gonna melt all down and make them ooey and gooey. That's what cinnamon rolls are all about. You guys, so we're gonna go ahead, frost these, and then we're gonna pour us some milk and have a yummy late night snack. Jared just said these look so freaking good. And <laughs> they, they do. do. <laughs> they look amazing. They smell amazing. Oh. I already taste this a little bit. They taste amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to dig into these. <laughs> so we are gonna close out the vlog tonight. As yes. much as we love you, we are gonna <laughs> say goodbye. You guys, it's been so much fun hanging out with you today. If you have to be new to our channel, subscribe. You guys, we're getting so close to 50,000 subscribers. Yes. Ah! And we want to do a cool it. giveaway, so definitely drop below in the comments what you yes. guys think we should do. We asked that over on Instagram at Jordan Britt, any giveaway ideas for hitting 50K. But you guys, seriously, thank you, each and every one of you. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.